Now you've got to get deep to understand this. We're in Mother God and Father God stands right by. And when I mean we're in the universe, us, everything, in Mother God. Protected by mother. And a mother is very protective, isn't she? Father standing by. If you're not open to Mother God, you won't feel this protection. And for thousands of years, we've forgotten Mother God. Not everyone has. Most men, probably, if not pretty much all men, are not open to Mother God. And so when you're feeling Mother God, you feel surrounded by her. But because Mother God is completely open to anything Father God feels, we're also any time open to Father God. Even when we've denied Mother God, it's been possible to feel Father God. And he can you feel him directly through the top of your head. Like that's how the connection comes through Mother God. Feeling both, <laughs> really recognizing and feeling both is the best. But Mother God is awesome as well. I mean, like, just that protection, that's what you want, isn't it? You want to feel like everything's taken care of, and it is. You know, they designed this. Think about it, look at it. It's in Mother God, it's, it's designed to make sure our souls never stray too far. And yes, some souls have strayed a long way, but they're not going anywhere, look. <laughs> they're not going anywhere. So God is right there never going anywhere and neither are you is impossible as the French would say is impossible so open yourself to Mother God Think about all the people who follow the Bible and <laughs> all the time it's talking about the Father and, you know, it's the translator, you know, say even Jesus talked about the Father, well, who knows at the time he didn't talk about both as he does now, Mother and Father, but the translators, whatever, the scribes, or the or the king who is bossing the scribes around or whatever, you know. Now we won't have that. It's Father God. So, and, you know, all through the Bible, there's no mention of Mother God. And it's very important to understand because when we're conceived, we start off in the womb which feels exactly like Mother and Father God. You're in a female soul, and you have the Father soul, 
gallivanting around <laughs> or standing by and the feelings inside of you when you if you get back to some younger memories say around two or three four maybe you will still have had those feelings then so you'll be reminded of them and you'll remember them again it takes a little while to get there and you wouldn't just do that the first time because it would just be a bit too scary but when you feel it you know it remember that you learn to trust more and more in your feelings and you know God is there mother and father she's very protective she loves you, she loves all of us, they both love all of us. So as I was saying, when you're conceived and you're in the womb, it's just like this. But then you give birth and suddenly, well, the feeling I'm still in Mother God, because you would continue to feel that, but who's that then? <laughs> oh, it's... And there would be confusion there, maybe, you know, which one's Mother God? And, you know, and then because we grow up and when our parents don't know the truth, so even if our parents knew the truth, perhaps that could be felt across and you'd be brought up with knowing that the biological parents are your soul's brother and sister, and it's your soul which is eternal growing up with that truth, you wouldn't lose sight of things. Anyway, I was feeling earlier some something which unblocked me to Mother God. I was about three years old. It's a memory that's been coming back to me. And I was having this memory that I could never get past before and I was trying to figure out what happened. It's gone from aliens to someone abusing me to someone locking me up and I went through the thoughts oh there are two younger girls there and I'm thinking I'd been mean to them I'd actually hit them I have a feeling maybe that's why I got put in the room to play on my own and all this time mother god is is saying you know don't do this because you're going to close connection off to me you know it's not saying it but these are the feelings the warnings if you like and what your life ahead of you will be like when you close this feeling off and um, it feels fantastic to um, open it and may it stay open <laughs> And um, probably still got some more things to study, but there. Open your feelings to Mother God, because you're inside her, your soul, everything. We are multi-dimensional beings within a multi-dimensional universe that God has created inside her belly, if you like, is the best analogy. And we can talk about birth pangs. Will it happen all at once? Will it happen one by one? Mm. <laughs> yeah, but that's another story. Know where you are, and you'll feel good. You'll feel very good. Okay, ciao.